I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on acids and bases. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author and the creator of the Dr. Destroyer book and the Orgo Man products. I want to do a nice problem with you for the DAT exam on acid base theory. So come along and let's have a look. <clears throat> this is going to be a three part question. I give you a reaction involving carbonic acid. And I react it with fluoride ions, and we get HF and bicarbonate ion produced. And I give you the Ka of each of the acids. Since only one H came off a of carbon carbonic acid, I only gave you the Ka1. So we're going to get 4 to the minus 7 for the first Ka1 for the carbonic acid, and 7 to the minus 4 for HF. And I want to know, where does the equilibrium lie? Well... What's the concept? The concept is you always go from the strong acid towards the, towards the weak acid, or strong base to weak base. Now, this is the bigger number. So that means that this would be the strong acid, acid and this would be the weak acid. So you always go from strong to weak. So that means the equilibrium would lie to the left. All right. The same thing would have been if I gave you pKa values. Remember, you always go from the small pKa to the large because that means you're going from strong to weak. All right. Now, what if I say give the conjugate acid base pairs here? Well, we see here that this is carbonic acid, so this is the acid. H2CO3 is the acid. And that means that HCl3- minus would be the conjugate base. And then likewise, F- minus is a base, and therefore HF would be the conjugate acid. All right, very important question. Part C. What I did on this one is I want you to tell me how... Is this acid and this base functioning? Is it an Arrhenius acid and base? Which one is a Lewis acid, Brunstad Lowry? First of all, we're not in water, so let's forget about Arrhenius. Arrhenius only means we're in a water solution. First of all, this would be considered a Brunstad Lowry acid because, as you can see, it is a proton donor. It's giving off an H. And this is a Brunsted-Lowry base. Why? Because it's accepting a proton. So the Brunsted-Lowry definition of an acid is a proton donor, and that's exactly what's happening here, and Brunsted-Lowry base is a proton acceptor. Now, let's look at the Lewis theory. This would be a Lewis acid because, as you can see, it's accepting a pair of electrons. Notice that the fluoride ion is donating its electrons. So the guy that's accepting is the electron pair acceptor is the Lewis acid, and the species that is donating the electrons would be considered the Lewis base. So as you can see in this example, these are both functioning as Lewis acids and Lewis bases respectively. Make sure you understand this question, and this should give you some good concepts for the DAT exam. All right, I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.